patterns of life. Number two, structuralism in the shape of life. Evolution. If it's all about random mutations, why do the same patterns keep cropping up in the natural world? Coincidence? Bearded man in the sky? Not according to parrot-wielding eccentric Sir Darcy Thompson. He found that the precise shapes that plants, seashells and animal horns grow in can be described in simple equations. Why? Because living things grow according to the laws of physics as well as genetics. The two work together to produce the forms of living things. These days it's a lot more sophisticated. Mathematicians can match the structure of viruses to 3D forms like the 20-sided icosahedron. They recently simplified one medical research problem from 40,000 possibilities to a somewhat more manageable three. So could the cure for the common cold turn out to be written in algebra? Complex three-dimensional algebra, that is. <laughs>